Good morning, beautiful people of God. This is Prophetess Rivers with another word, another message. Today I want to talk to everyone about honoring their mother and their father. Because so many of us get caught up in thinking that, well, because I don't stay in the house with them anymore or because I'm grown, I don't have to honor my mother and my father. Well, the word of God says that it is pleasing to God when you honor your mother and your father. Well, there's three really different stages as you being a child, as you being a teenager, and then as you being an adult. Well, as you being a child, you are supposed to be obedient to your parents at all times. If they tell you to take out the trash or they tell you to go wash the dishes, they tell you to go do this or that, if you're going to do it, but you're going to have a, a mumbling spirit or you're going to sit up there and do it grudgingly, then don't even open up your mouth, but you must do what your parents tell you to do. And then when you hit that teenager age, you have to learn how to respect your parents. Even as a child, you respect them, but even more as a teenager, because as a teenager, you think that your parents don't know what they're talking about. They don't want you to have no fun, and they don't want you to do this or that. And it's not that they don't want you to do this or that. It's just that maybe what you are trying to do when it comes to this and that, they've been down that road, and they don't want you to take that road. So they're telling you not to do those, not to do those things. So you must respect your parents. And then when you get up and as an adult, even though you're an adult, you'll always be your mama's little boy or your mama's little girl. You'll always be mama's baby. So you have to learn how to be thankful for your parents, adore your parents. In the Bible, it talks about so many times about why it is, why, why, why we need to be obedient to our parents. In the Ten Commandments, it's one of the only Ten Commandments that says that when you obey your parents, your days on earth shall be longer. You shall have blessings no matter where you go in this world. You only have one mother and one father. Now, you might have spiritual mothers and spiritual fathers and mentors, but at the end of the day, you only have one mother. You only have one father. Are you going to look at them and think that everything that they're doing is right and they're flawless? No, you're not flawless. There are flaws in you just like there are in your parents. But the reason why God tells us to be obedient to our parents is because when you're obedient to them, it shows that you can be obedient to God. How can you be obedient to God and say you honor God and you love God and you're going to follow after God when well, you can't even go and vacuum the floor? When you get on the phone, you're always cussing your parents out or thinking that you know better than them. You're not the mother. God could have chose any and everybody else to be your mother or your father, but he chose that one to be your mother, that one to be your father. So you need to honor them in all that you do. It's pleasing to God, and it will bring more life to you. It will bring blessings to you. Remember, I love you, God love you, and all that you do, give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.